Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens. I did like when Cole noted, Michael Cole noted, that Kevin Owens once beat Roman Reigns with help from a friend. <laughs> yeah. That was awesome. So, listen, they had a, they had a pretty good pay-per-view main event match. It was. I was so tired of the, uh, after going through the show, and, and everything after the men's trouble up to this point had been mediocre to horrible. And uh, by the end of this match, people were going crazy, so credit to them for, for that. But, man, the show was long. Uh, they went back and forth a lot. And especially when you think about how hot the crowd was for the men's Royal Rumble. Yeah. They were well, going crazy for the men's Royal Rumble. And then, man, from fucking Uncle Howdy on, dead, dead, dead. Yes. All they did in the women's match was count. That's pretty much And right. they would pop big for a couple of people, but then it was largely just quiet and counting. Yes. And even for this match, it was like, this match had heat, but they didn't have mega heat until it was over. No, the post-match had uh, unreal heat. Um, so they, all had the, they hit the finishers repeatedly and kicked out of everything. They fought outside a lot. Uh, at exactly the four-hour mark in the show, like to the minute, there was a ref bump, and I was so angry. And the end, I, I guess I know why, because Owens hit, uh, I think it was a stunner, but Owens got a visual pin. And the he had a pop-up powerbomb first. Pop-up powerbomb, excuse me. And uh, he gets a visual pin off that, but there's no ref. And so they keep on fighting, and uh, Owens gets hit with something and rolls outside, and Sammy is begging Kevin to stay down. He was wants Kevin to stay down and end this thing. Kevin gets up, and so Roman spears Kevin through the barricade. And this is not enough for Roman. He grabs Kevin by the back of the head and throws him back of the head first into the stairs. That was brutal. Uh, Kevin's a pro. I'm assuming he figured out a way to do this and not die beyond just taking a bump onto the stairs twice. But uh, it was effective. Because it looked violent and Well, really if dangerous. you watch, like, he put his hands behind his head, so he actually bumped on, like, his, his uh, leather gloves or whatever. Okay. But still, you could break your hands doing that. Yes. That looked brutal. I, I, I would take a broken hand over CTE. But I certainly would take a broken hand over a broken skull. Yes. Yes. So, uh, eventually, after a couple of these, uh, Roman throws him back the ring. Kevin Owens still won't die. He's able to hit one last slap of defiance. But Roman... Just t- in selling the slap, steps back in the ropes, bounces back, hits a spear, and finally gets the win. So in the end, there was a visual pin for Kevin, but this is pretty much a clean win for Roman here. And then the post match, and I feel honestly, I can tell you what happened. But as the guy here who does not watch the show week to week, I feel like I'm not the best guy to explain why this was all so awesome. Well, why was it so awesome, Vinny? All right, so. I mean, if you oh, thought it was awesome, tell us why. I'll tell you why. I you, can correct you. You tell me what I'm missing out on sure. or overlooking. All right, so Owens is down. Sammy is relieved. Sammy, th- th- this is no fun for Sammy, v- Sammy Zane at all. And he, 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 he wanted Roman Reigns to win this match, but he also wanted Kevin Owens to walk away. And, and that's why he wanted Kevin to stay down. And have well, a, I guess I will take over then. Thank you. We don't know. We don't know what he wanted. Because when, when Roman asked for a chair, like he didn't really want to give him that chair. That, and, I, I forgot about that. And he, yes. he finally did give him the chair, but he you know, he doesn't he doesn't really know. He's been mistreated. Like he, he wants to be a part of the bloodline and he loved it when he felt that they respected him, but now it's clear that they don't really respect him like he thought that, that they did, and so he's not sure what to think here. And, you know, he's he's been up and down with Kevin Owens for twenty something years, so End of the match, you know, he's 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 downtrodden. It's been a rough day. And so they uh, they attack uh, Kevin Owens. They're beating him down. They get handcuffs, and they uh, handcuff him to the ropes. And they super kick this poor guy in the face like 50 times. And, of course, the, answer, the, the announcers do ask a good question. Where the fuck is security? Yeah. Well, the answer is they must have gone home or something. They don't give a fuck about this Kevin Owens bloke. So they super kick him and everything like that. And then uh, Roman Reigns gets a chair. And Roman Reigns is going to just bash this dude's brains in. And you can see Sammy's like, ah, it's too much. Like, I I can't do this. And so finally, you know, Roman's about to do it, and Sammy steps in front of him. So Sammy cleverly is trying to speak to Roman and talk him out of this. He says... You have done enough. You have destroyed this guy. You've beaten him. You're the universal champion. It's over. What you're doing now, he says, is beneath you. And so Roman, he puts his head down. God 
damn, you know, if it is, maybe it is beneath me. But you know what he says? It's not beneath you, Sammy. He hands him the chair. You do it. And so Sammy's got this chair and he just can't do it. And Roman Reigns starts chewing him out and he goes, you know, you don't want to be part of this family. This, this, is, the, this is the best place you've ever been in this business. You want to go back to doing jackass shit? You need to be part of this family. That was a great line. Take this chair and, and finish this. And so what they actually did was, was they recreated when Seth turned on the shield. And that was Roman Reigns is standing did, there. Actually. And Sammy's got the chair. And uh and he swings all right. And he whacks Roman Reigns with the chair. And Roman's down. And Jimmy and Solo immediately attack. And they beat the living hell out of Sami Zayn. But Jay Uso, of all people, Jay Uso cannot bring himself. To attack Sami Zayn. And so he puts his head down and he walks out of the ring and he starts walking up the ramp to the back. And everybody's going crazy for Jay. They've been chanting his name and then they pop big when he left. And so he starts walking up this ramp. This part shouldn't be funny, but he starts walking up the ramp and the other guys, Roman takes his chair, like for they, they're beating on, on. For days. Yeah, and they're beating on him and they're beating on him and they're beating on him. And then Roman gets his chair and he beats him and he beats him and he hits him with like 50 chair shots. And they've beaten him for like eight straight minutes, and they cut, and Jay's still not at the top of the ramp. No. This fucker's still walking. It's a far. So anyway, then, uh, you know, he's dead and everything like that, and, you know, there was so much heat for this. Like, they went crazy when Sammy hit Roman. They're chanting for Jay when Jay won't do anything. They're popping when Jay leaves. And listen, I don't know if they're going to do this, but this is a variation of where I think they should go. And that is, Cody is getting the shot at WrestleMania. Right? He won the Rumble. Yes. You do not want the people to turn on Cody because they want Sammy versus Roman. Right? Right. So what you need to do is Sammy needs to challenge Roman Reigns to a match at Elimination Chamber, which just so fucking happens to be in Montreal, his hometown. Oh. Yes. How about that? So it's Roman Reigns versus Sami Zayn in Montreal. And obviously at the end of this match, Jay... The man will say, ring the fucking bell. Jay is the one who fucks Sammy, costs him the match, he turns on him, and then all of the bloodline are destroying Sammy when Kevin Owens, who we have not seen since this moment here at the Rumble, he runs out in his fucking hometown and he makes a save for... Sami Zayn, and you shift the heat to Jay, Jay and Jimmy. So now the fans want to see Kevin and Sami as a team beat the Usos at WrestleMania, and they're not getting mad at Cody anymore. Cody and Roman is one thing. Sami's already had his title match. Now they want to see him win the tag titles from the Usos. I don't know if that's what they're going to do, but when when Jay walked out, I thought, man, that may be what they're going to do because that's what you got to do if you don't want people to turn on Cody here. So anyway, I thought it was awesome. Sean, you've been watching all of it. What do you think? Well, I thought the match the match itself is one of those things where Roman has been champion for so goddamn long that every single match is exactly the same. Like, they build up to it, and you're really watching it, you know the competitor's not going to win. So, that like, the object of these matches is to build up the drama and make you think, like, either person is going to win. Well, Roman has been winning consistently for so long that i honestly don't care anymore like roman's gonna win but afterwards that was fantastic it was superb great storytelling just could not stop watching loved it five, and five the stars. Heat, those fans chanting fuck you roman oh 45 000 people chanting fuck you roman that, when, that was awesome. Which he acknowledged, too. It yes, was great. Oh, yeah. He looked at the like, How dare you fuckers change this to me? When Sammy hit Roman with the chair, and the, I don't know, 20 seconds after that, like, you could hear, like, the, the, the mics are popping. It, 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 it distorted sound. I don't feel the technical term for it, but it was so loud that their microphone system was having trouble recording it and broadcasting it to you at home. It was too loud for their equipment. Uh, so it's completely insane. So there you go. That's the Royal Rumble. Listen, the first match 
and the main event angle were so unbelievably off the charts awesome. This show is an automatic, easy, enthusiastic two thumbs up. That being said, when I left my house, my computer was at 100% health. I literally just got the message, plug me in or I'm about to die. <laughs> That's a show. Well, we're done, except for Mark. Strap him here. Long. What do you got? I just fixed the battery on this last year. So. Pardon? What do I have? Yeah, what do you think about this main event, brother? Oh, the main event. Well, I really enjoyed your fan fiction there about what you think should be next year, WWE fan fiction. I don't remember uh, you said you should that. Write, you should write it in, in a little marble notebook and mail it to Triple H. Excuse uh, me, a marble <laughs> notebook? A marble! <laughs> you asshole, a marble notebook. Well... <laughs> Uh, how big Marvel a geek you were. Notebook? You don't know about Marvel? Come on, you're like old. Like there'd be Batman on the you're front old. of it? The marble they had. You know, you know it's a black, black and it's got white, the white marble, things on notebook, it. Marble. Marble. Whatever. And even I know what that is. I what? see. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Heard did it. you look it up? I looked it up. Okay, good. Um, what was the question? Oh, did I? Yeah, it was, you know, it was it was a Roman Reigns. Man. Like, the whole pay-per-view, really, like, everything was pretty, like, I didn't think Alexa Bliss was going to be Bianca Belair. I knew Rhea Ripley was going to win the Royal Rumble. I knew Co Cody Rhodes, did. like, why did they announce Cody Rhodes beforehand? Like, why didn't they have that be a surprise and everybody would have been like, yeehaw, it's Cody Rhodes. Um, but yeah, I knew, I, I knew Roman Reigns was going to win, and then, you know, the this whole Sami Zayn thing's got to end sometime. And yeah, you know, it was it was fine and fun, and it's nice to see, like, Another person, you know, it's kind of a Daniel Bryan kind of situation where this dude like is so good at his job that yes. much to the chagrin of management, I assume he's gotten himself so over. Like I just hope that they don't just you know kill him like they did with you know Rusev Day when that was going on and everybody like loved that they just fucking stomped it in the ground and everything. Hopefully Sammy gets his day in the sun. Uh, I think Sammy will be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's going to be just, so, just fine for Sammy Zane. <laughs> but, yeah, it was, I mean, you know, I love the Royal Rumble because I love surprises. And, you know, when Triple H took over and, like, all I've been hearing, you know, people are like, it's so much better now that Triple H is in charge. And I'm like, I just saw the same old shit, man. I just saw the same well, show. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of... But you know what? I got to say one thing about it. I don't know if everyone else agrees, but... It was a very predictable show. I think I, I let's see, I predicted uh, uh, Cody, The Fiend, Bianca, Rhea, and Roman. So I, I picked everything right. Wow. But the issues that we had with the show had nothing to do with the finishes being predictable. The issues with the show had to do with a whole bunch of other stuff. So some of the people go, ah, you know, people don't like the show because it's predictable. That's not the problem. Like, everything that, everything that happened was what should have happened. Like, Rhea should have won that. And Cody should have won it. And, and Roman should have won it. And they should have done that. There was nothing wrong with the predictable things that they did. But sometimes they have to do these other things. Like, the whole fucking Bray Wyatt match itself. Like, the issue was not who won. It was fucking everything else about it. Although I would have liked to have seen old L.A. Knight win that match. Maybe next time, right? Here is some actual commentary from Bash and Burger. I love barbecue. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> During this match, uh, I believe uh, Bastion was uh, choking on his chicken wings. Bastion said, uh, Vince, you haven't lived up to your contract. I uh, require four or five pizzas delivered in a wheelbarrow. It was at this point that Bastion Burger demanded hot dogs. Were they delivered it? in a wheelbarrow, too? Yeah. That's a big hot dog. We're told Razor and Zanetti have called... It's a big wiener. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Brian. Big, juicy wiener. Yes, in between two buns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you broke Vinny. <laughs> if you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.